Each schema sound has two parts, an invariant part, or the algorithm itself, and an adjustable part, the parameters. Parameters in fields with white backgrounds are values that are determined before the sound starts to play. For example, the name of a file or a sample on the disk. Shift-click on the icon to view the file header information. Command or control click on the icon to open an editor on the file. Parameter fields with blue backgrounds can contain either constants, like this trigger, or variable values like this frequency. Red variables like freak low turn into faders on the virtual control surface. To create a new control, click in a parameter field and type an exclamation point. Kima will autocomplete with the name of that parameter field. We can make left and right the opposite of one another using arithmetic. The real-time expression language is called CapiTalk. To see a list of all the CapiTalk messages you can send, use Control-Shift-H. You can select a CapiTalk message and paste it into the current parameter field. We can create a constant power pan by sending as left pan to the control in the left, and as right pan to the control in the right. In addition to controlling a fader by hand, you can control it algorithmically using the Sound to Global Controller. Schedule a Sound to Global Controller in parallel with your sound by dragging it and dropping it on the plus sign. Let's use the repeating triangle function to sweep the pan back and forth. To continuously trigger the function, type a 1, then use Control Shift H to find the repeating triangle function and paste it in. The one repeating triangle expression will generate an event called pan. I'm unlocking the VCS so I can make the pan control wider. You can also control a parameter using the output of another sound. To use a sound as a controller, copy the sound, and paste it into the parameter field. The L means that it's using the left channel of LFO to control the parameter. Let's say we wanted to control the pan with a chaotic function. When you're not sure which CapiTalk expression to use, you can look in the expressions library. Let's open the expressions library and look under random. This one looks good, so let's drag it and drop it into the parameter field.
To smooth out the value changes, you can send the message smoothed to any expression. To modify a sound so that it can be controlled from a keyboard, change any triggers or gates to key down, change any frequency fields to key pitch, here I'm changing the carrier frequency of the FM. Since this is a pitch, I'm going to add some number of half steps to it. That's what the NN units mean. To give it an overall amplitude envelope, I'm going to use Control B to search for the AR or attack release envelope. We can drag it and drop it on the line just to the right of the sound that we want to control with the envelope. The AR prototype already has key down as its gate and key velocity as its scale. Now when I play the sound, I can control it from a MIDI keyboard or using the eraser end of the Wacom pen and tablet. Or the continuum fingerboard. Just because a control is called key pitch doesn't mean you have to use it to control pitch in Kima. Here, for example, key pitch is divided down and used as a time index for the Tau player. Hai pagato il prezzo per la tua sconsiderata miopia. Hai pagato il prezzo per la tua sconsiderata Hai pagato il prezzo per la tua sconsiderata miopia. Hai pagato il prezzo per la tua sconsiderata miopia.